Happy 2023. Happy New Year, everybody. I hope you have great times during the holidays. I would like to start this year with five free summon controllers. For the first one of you, we will snap this coupon code up on his Guardian Turtles account. Please note the coupon code will only work for Asia servers accounts and you can only redeem one code per account because yes, I have added somewhere in this video another coupon code for another five free summon controllers. And by the way, I will have more coupon codes for Guardian Tales for this month of January. So I will throw them out in my next Guardian Tales video. And feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell to have a chance to grab it. So is Die really worth your gems on this banner? Is it really good or not? Before to quickly review each hero rating and give you my recommendation at the end, I just would like to mention quickly that the next event banner will have some great heroes, including the new wizard pop, of course, from the Dragon Quest. Die will still be here, but there are Summer Loren, Kana the Druid, Crossell, and Payman the Destroyer back in your summoning pool. So check carefully each hero content rating today before to go all in, in case the next banner will be better for you. So let's get the party started with Dai. We already fully reviewed this kitten animation in our last Guardian Tales video. You can check it out in details. And after two weeks out on the current servers, the use of him in PvP is nearly nowhere to be seen. And his overall kit is just average and brings no utility to your team. While he has some very nice bulk, some nice HP defense for a warrior type, the inconsistency of his extra DPS, the too little amount of buff he has, and the huge cooldown on his weapon skill, Let's just repeat it here, Dai is a good average hero, but his performance has been quite underwhelming so far for the community. Now, for the Die Hard fans of the Dragon Quest series, there will be just one way to go. Yes, let's go, you can summon for it, as I did, because if you are a fan of Dragon Quest or of the Guardian Tales collaboration also as well, you want to collect as much as you can, even if you don't have any reward for it. But for any beginner, Dai won't be optimal for your progression right now, as he really needs some buff or a dedicated support unit to be released later on in my opinion in order to shine. And let's keep rock and rolling with Lan. She's a very old unique in Guardian Tales, but last month she received a buff which improved her attack skill and animation, making her viable in certain team building, especially in Arena. And we have seen few players, skill player top wells for a while competing decently in Arena with her, with some weapon skill party buffers because she needs 3 hits to trigger the Shen skill which is quite long. A weapon can decrease melee defense of your enemies by 20% consistently, which makes her great in any melee team. She also has some nice healing skills, but unfortunately she is not a consistent healer, as those will activate only under certain conditions. Aside from being squishy as well, I must say it, I'm a real fan of LAN attack animation, skills and costumes, really I love her, but she's just a sub-character at that point. Wait, what? This is the second giveaway of the video, another 5 summon controllers for you, for your happy 2023. If you like Natoji channel, don't forget to destroy the like button. Slayer Andras. She's probably the most versatile range water unit so far. She carries the range damage party buff, has a generous attack and HP pool, and can decrease enemies' defense on normal attack. This is one of the best utility a DPS can have nowadays to support your party damage output, especially if you are looking for an addition in your water mono red teams. A unique mechanic allows her to create one ice crystal each time she eats an enemy, and she can stack up to four crystals that can be shot at your opponent with a weapon skill. So, with three stacks, you can increase her attack and defense, and with four stacks, you can increase a weapon skill by 20% DPS for each ice crystals. So aside of earth threats in the PvP, a big flow is her normal attack, which is way too slow for the PvP arena, and this won't help much to get those four stacks of ice crystals rolling up to activate all the buff consistently. For PvE, it will be way easier to build up the buff, and she has two main attributes that make her great. 
She has a very good long range on weapon shen skills that can go through elements and she deals juicy damage. Overall, except for PvP, she works wonder across all content and has a pretty versatile kit that allows her to be run on many different teams aside of the water mono. Sea Witch Ara. Ara is another amazing water hero, a defense party buff that also benefits from the double weapon skill region speed meta, as she wears both skill damage and weapon skill region speed bonuses in her kit. The Sea Witch has very long range attacks that can shoot through the walls, and she's capable of summoning tentacles that have 60% of her DPS and 80% of her toughness. Both are dealing range damage and the tentacles can shoot through elements and block enemies in PvP also for more upset. While her Shen skill has a juicy 420% of DPS, a special ability allows her to restore 10% HP when she summons a tentacle. She also gains 25% defense when the tentacle hit your enemy and Ara's attack will boost the tentacle damage by 25% as well. Overall, Ara has amazing synergy with her summons, which brings both offensive and resilient capabilities. Like most of the heroes, her exclusive weapon is an absolute must as it will increase the tentacle summons by 2 and increases her damage output. When it comes to PvP, she is of course weak to earth element for PvP like against Camel, but she remains an excellent counter to the like of Lina and an absolute top tier in PvP. And for PvE, aside of not being optimal for the raids or expeditions because of her defense party buff, she is an absolute stud in any other content. And finally, Vampire Priscilla. Priscilla is a light hero with a 40% shield increase at the battle start for the party buff, coming with one of the best HP and defense stats in the game. A wall kit resolves under a weapon skill called Unleashed, which allows her to transform after hitting 6 to 7 of her normal attacks. It is worth mentioning she has a very long range attacks that can go through element but not through the walls. But her unleashed energy balls can shoot through everything. And once you are in the unleashed state, your movement speed will increase by 10% and you will trigger a special ability giving you 10% of HP recovery, 25% of damage increased and 25% of reduced damage taken. Also, an exclusive weapon will increase your damage while debuffing your enemies in reducing their attack by 25%. For PvP, Priscilla has been amazing in Arena because she brings so much sustain to her own. And while she's not optimal for guild raids or expedition because of a party buff, she is fantastic in every PvE content. And finally, my recommendation for beginners and mid game players let's get started with number 5. It will be Lan. She is updated. She has a very nice buff that brought her back a little bit in Arena, but she's more of an end game material, end game toy. Number 4 on the list today in terms of performance, but number 1 option for the fans of the series, of course, this will be Hero Die from this unique collaboration in between Dragon Quest and Guardian Tales. They are much better counterparts than Die for beginners, but there will be only one option for the fan of the series for sure. For the fan of Dragon Quest, just snap it. And remember to share your advices also in the comment section below about which hero you think is best for the players. And for the remaining heroes, all them three, they are top tier unit when it comes to specific content. So it really depends on your needs. Andras, for example, will be your choice if you want to invest in your reds, but she's not great in Arena, while Ara and Priscilla are both great for your Arena and Colosseum. And all of them three are such strong units to implement in your story progression and other tough PvE stages. And don't forget our next banner video is coming in 12 days from now with some great heroes, so don't burn all your summons yet, and I'm very excited about Pop the Wizard, I really love the character. Thank you so much for watching, and if you are still here so far in the video, you are such a support to this channel, it truly helps the algorithm to spread the content and I'm very grateful to all of you. And for 2023, I have some great jam for you, aside of your regular Guardian Tales video, I will keep on reviewing new games and also the first impression videos, they did pretty well on the channel, I'm very excited to play and test more amazing games for you, 
and I've been working, grinding a game during all the winter holidays with the first series of beginner guys coming soon, so I'm very excited about it. I love the game, I love the brand behind the game, so please feel free to keep your bells notifications on. As usual, I wish you all to be safe, to be well, and until the next, stay tuned, everybody. Yeah.